Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Clearview Clubhouse. My name is Miss Simone, and I am the Event and Community Engagement Coordinator here at Clearview Federal Credit Union. And I am so excited because I get to be your storyteller for this week's story, which is called Bunny Money by Rosemary Wells. So we're going to be getting started, but just a quick reminder that you will be getting an email after this event with uh, a worksheet that you can do that uh, ties back to this event um, and to the story. And you'll also get a recording of the story. So if you wanna watch it again, you're able to do so. Let's get started. Bunny Money by Rosemary Wells. Max's sister, Ruby, saved up a wallet full of money for grandma's birthday present. We're going to buy grandma a music box with skating ballerinas, Max, said Ruby. Get your lucky quarter and let's go shopping. Ruby took $1 from her wallet to pay the bus fare. The bus stopped at Rosalinda's gift shop. In the window was a music box with skating ballerinas. Isn't it beautiful, Max, said Ruby. Thirsty, said Max. You may buy a very, very small lemonade, Max, said Ruby. Next door in Candy's corner window were hundreds of vampire teeth. Max knew Grandma would love a set of teeth with oozing cherry syrup inside for her birthday. He bought them instead of the lemonade. Two dollars, please, said Candy. Max wanted to make sure the teeth worked. He put them in. The teeth worked perfectly. Ruby had to take Max to the laundromat. Soap costs a dollar, the washer costs a dollar, and the dryer cost another dollar. Money down the drain, Max, said Ruby. Hungry, said Max. It was lunchtime. Max finished off a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, two coconut cupcakes, and a banana shake. Lunch cost $4. Money is running through our fingers, Max, said Ruby. They walked all the way back to Rosalinda's gift shop without spending another penny. I'd like to buy the music box with skating ballerinas for grandma's birthday, Ruby said to Rosalinda. It's a hundred dollars, said Rosalinda. A hundred dollars, said Ruby. The ice skates are made of real gold, Rosalinda explained. Ruby looked in her wallet. The only thing left was a $5 bill. Here's an idea, said Rosalinda. Bluebird earrings that play, oh, what a beautiful morning, are on sale for $4. Gift wrap is free. We'll take them, said Ruby. Ruby gave Rosalinda the $5 bill for the blue bird earrings and went to pick out wrapping paper. $4 for the earrings, $1 change, said Rosalinda. You take care of this dollar, young man. Max went back to Candy's corner. Glow in the dark vampire teeth were half price. Most people like the glow in the dark vampire teeth much better than the oozing cherry kind, said Candy. Max bought a set for $1. Oh no, Max, said Ruby, you've spent our last dollar. How are we going to pay for the bus fare home? Max reached into his pocket. Out came his lucky quarter. Ruby used it for the telephone. Grandma will have to pick us up, said Ruby. I hope she won't be angry. Grandma was not angry at all. She was so thrilled. She played the musical bluebird earrings and wore the vampire teeth all the way home. The end. Thank you all so much for joining us today in the Clearview Clubhouse. Again, don't forget to check your email because there will be a fun worksheet for you to do based on the story we read together today. I hope you enjoyed Bunny Money and you'll go back and watch it again soon. Thanks so much. See you next time. Bye, friends.